Hi guys, I'm Garen. I'm GD. And this is Investigating Comic Club, where we chronologically read, review, discuss, and rate specific crucial stories of the media. Indeed, and we hope that you guys will subscribe to become misfit members of Comic Club yourselves. Stick around till the end of our discussion for our episodic comic quality poll. Share your own opinions of the story in the comments below. And after the Misfit Picture Show's logo for any potential bloopers that the episode could provide. Mr. Garen, mm -hmm. today we're doing Thor, issue one, mm -hmm. or Legacy, issue 727. What? Do you see that on the cover? Yeah, that's true. That's that true. means in all comics, all the different versions of the comics, that is the 727th issue of Thor. What? So they do that, like... Companies will relaunch comics yeah, all yeah. the time for a new number one. It gives them a spike in sales. It of gives course, readers yeah. a new blah, blah, blah. They do this legacy numbering to give longtime readers, longtime collectors that completest kind of, oh, oh okay. Wow. Yes. Thor number one, Donny Cates, Nick Klein, and Matt Wilson. Yes, indeed. And actually, we weren't going to do Thor, but actually one of our commenters, um, we got issues. <laughs> looking forward to our review of Thor, so we was like, hey, let's jump on that. And yeah, let's give it a shot. Give it a shot. Um, I think that Garen and I have been a little lackluster in our excitement over the Dawn of X as it has continued. So we thought something a little new, something different mm -hmm. would be kind of cool. And I'm glad we did. Yeah. I'm not familiar with Donny Kate's work. Garen's actually read a little bit more of him than I have through Absol Absolute Ma Carnage. Okay. Absolute <clears throat> Carnage, yeah. Um, I'm just aware of that he did a Silver Surfer Black miniseries. Everything I heard about that mm -hmm. series, I didn't read it, but everything I heard about it was very intriguing and, and really cool. Even the little bit of it thrown, not the little bit, but this issue of Thor bringing that in makes, is intriguing to go, okay, I want to read <laughs> yeah. Silver Surfer Black. It's like, okay, yeah, it made fun. that itch yeah. happen to me too, Which, kind of grabbing that it's trade. Like, like, ah, even just that little bit of like, it's a story. It's too long of a story right now. And just so, I'm like, ah, we were just <laughs> talking about that, right. about the Silver Surfer Black. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. To I mean, again, we'll go back and forth, mm -hmm. but for it to be Galactus, and we've, if you have and you haven't, done our um oh chronological marvel if you haven't or have done our chronological marvel Psst, companion, companion series companion series it starts with galactus, galactus versus, versus dark side so which was great hmm. because as i'm reading this i'm enjoying every bit all the pages the art the story if you listen to our thor <laughs> episode yeah i'm not a big thor fan yeah i'm not it's not that style that um Lore isn't my mm -hmm. cup of tea, but having the the Galactus episode mm -hmm. for that issue and bringing him into this, and then having Silver Surfer, which is also part of that, which then you have Black. <laughs> it was like okay, all right, okay, you know, and like then taking a little bit of those stories that I learned mm -hmm. from, of course, um, <laughs> not correspondence <laughs> from. What is the word? Companion. Our chronological companion. Yeah. Marvel. Yes. But taking those stories from our companion, Chronological Marvel, it made this story, for me, fun. Made, yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Um, and it definitely an unexpected pleasure. I had thought about that. If you guys don't know, our companion series, Chronological Marvel, will probably end up being about 15 episodes. I think we're on episode 11 or 10 right now. And it is exactly that, a chronological foundation of the Marvel universes. I started with Galactus Darkseid mm -hmm. because they're such an important part of the Marvel universe and they weren't really represented after I took a look at which 15 stories I was going to focus on. They were a glaring omission. Yeah. So I put them in there and then one of the more recent ones was Thor First Thunder. And it's cool that you see Galactus versus Darkseid, Thor versus Thor First Thunder, and then Avengers Origin, which was we haven't released that episode yet, but we've recorded mm -hmm. it. And then if you read this, you can kind of just connect the dots. Yeah, you connect them all, yeah. And it just works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. And I was actually thinking of you when you were reading this because it's 
it's kind of this payoff, unexpected yeah, you payoff. Have, you have yeah, <clears throat> unexpected. Where I'm like, oh, this is because even at first I'm like, okay, here it is. The you know the whole lore at the very beginning. The ten realms. The ten realms. And I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. You know, like trying mm-hmm. to, and then kind of like, oh, cool. It's him in you know, it's his uh, retirement, and then you have. He like is actually he's king actual, now. Yeah, he's actually king. He's sitting on the throne. And then you have the little fun little snarkiness of Iron Man being like, oh, <laughs> nice shot. You know, enjoy your retirement. And then that's the whole beginning part. Where even yeah. then, I'm like, it, it still was getting that moment. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling this. It's the first two pages, like, ah. Eh. And then the Iron Man comes in. I'm like, okay, that's fun. Okay, that's where we're at here. And then for it to start, and then having Loki come in. And it's, it was a slow start for me, but enough to where I'm like, I was, I even put on here, um, Thor looks aged, but cool. Mm. Like in the weird, like, he's like. He's missing an eye. Yeah, he's he's yeah. missing an arm. Mm-hmm. He's been through it. He's been through it all. Volsteig, Volsteig, the Vol- bigger guy. Yeah, yeah. He's oh, like, yeah. where's our beer? There's Lady Sif. Mm-hmm. She's got some power about the eyes. Maybe she, um, who is the gentleman that usually is on the Rainbow Bridge who can see everything? Maybe she's taken over for his spot. Maybe oh, he fell. Yeah, yeah. There's Loki being Loki. I think at least the prologue, prologue. was exceptional. Yeah. It set the stage. It had gorgeous colors, gorgeous art, tight dialogue. Mm-hmm. That rang true, and it set the scene. Mm -hmm. Boom, here's Thor. Okay, we get it. He's now king. Odin has fallen or Mm -hmm. something. And then you're thrust into his story. I loved at the end, we're jumping around, but Donny Cates in his little personal blurb. I loved that he said, the beautiful, flawed god, Thor. Mm -hmm. And you already see some flaws here in this little thing, like, his insecurity leading to arrogance. Yeah. You know, you know, he's insecure about all this stuff. He doesn't feel good about, he's always wanted it. I've never been on this. I've been on my throne. Mm -hmm. I haven't been on my father's throne. I haven't been on like this. Anybody questions him. He responds in. Get out. Or uh, off of your head. (laughs) Yeah. It's like really aggression. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that that's, you know, that's, that's superior storytelling. Yeah. It's not coincidence that the times, whether whether it's Lady Sif or Volstagg or Loki, when they push him, he responds yeah. in that mm-hmm. aggression. And then he walks out for his speech, and he is that character that we can't relate to. Yeah. But Donny Cates, through this, through his captions, through mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. telling the story, we can all relate to the idea of having to make a speech. And yeah. not feeling yeah. very confident about it. Yeah. So you feel for him in that moment. And then comes one of the greatest page turners I've seen, honestly. I that's a really epic Did you moment. That? I don't, I, like, no. There's no way you could like, No. Because no. even me seeing that, I'm like Galactus falls. I was in my and head, boom. Yeah, in my head I was like, is this something that should have been just I was going back and forth or not? It's something I should have known or not known. I'm like should I have seen this coming kind Should of thing? Seen like, this coming? Yeah. Is this in the same realm of things? that Right. Be Galactus is not a character that often crosses over with Thor. Mm-hmm. Which is cool then. Yeah. yeah. For him to... it's, it's as epic as it feels. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. really mm-hmm. cool. <laughs> it's yeah, really cool. Yeah, and that cool. shot like that. It's, is he missing a tooth? Like, that's Galactus. <laughs> it's really good. Yep. That's a really epic moment. And it felt... His arm is missing? Yeah. He's yeah. missing his arm. Yeah. Yeah. This snow starts. Does this have something to do with the frost giants? I'm not sure, but it doesn't seem like it. The more we're told. Yeah. Like, excuse me. Again, I don't know Donny Cates. Yeah. But he continuously plants certain ideas in the head. So we're like, oh, but I thought they defeated the frost giants. Oh, wait, nope, that's not it. You yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's really working up for this speech. Mm-hmm. Whoa, nope, nope. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's impressive very I, impressive this shot right here yeah i've ron Lim and ron mars 
So Ron Lim is an artist that was on Silver Surfer for a very long time. Jim, well, first Steve Englehart, then Jim Starlin, Mm -hmm. and it led to the whole Infinity Gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Ron Mars took over after Jim Starlin left. And Ron Mars and Ron Lim have this really excellent story arc and run on Silver Surfer that doesn't get talked about that much. Many of these heralds of Mm -hmm. Galactus showed up during that run and they're really cool characters i was really happy to see all these heralds that you see in that room they all have a lore behind them even loki making fun of them for not being able or having a hard time picking up yeah i i think that might be another thing that donny cates is setting something up usually whenever thor is unworthy Mm -hmm. of the hammer he can't pick it up we've seen that storyline before Mm -hmm. and his arrogance And his aggression seemed to be leading to that. Mm. But I suspect, again, it's going to be another Mm. left turn. Gotcha. But he does say soon Thor will know the answer to that and he won't like it or something like that. Dropping these seeds for the future, it feels like Donny Cates is going to be here for a length of time. He's Mm -hmm. got some plans. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's pretty accurate thor here comes a yeah. c- severely beaten galactus mm-hmm. thor jumps into the air and says how dare you <laughs> it's like uh-huh. he doesn't look so good but actually again with donny cates galactus is an aggressor here as we find out at the end yeah yeah heralds of galactus so you know what a herald of galactus is obviously from that dark side Mm-hmm. One shot. Silver Surfer was the first. Yeah, first one. But he's, you saw how he, he's not quite there, but you know even the hint from that story that he was going to yeah. betray him. Mm-hmm. Since then, he's gone through many heralds. But I was grateful to see all these heralds who have great lore and history behind each and every one. It was really cool to see them again. I don't know if they've been used very often, but I haven't been really reading any of the cosmic, any of the new cosmic stuff for several years. What is this? What the hell is a star plague? What is this Black <laughs> Winter? As soon as the Black Winter was mentioned, I had a feeling just from what I've heard about the mm-hmm. absolute, absolute carnage? Yeah. Okay. Um, with me, it's maximum clonage, yeah, yeah. maximum carnage, yeah. all these other stories from the past. I was surprised at how... Oh, no, he just came out and said it. Mm-hmm. Silver Surfer shows up. He's the new kind of black Silver Surfer. Yeah. And literally, there's a reference to the Silver Surfer black yep, miniseries. Right, uh, uh, tell for another time, perhaps. Which is cool. You know, it says, if you want, I'm sure 80% of the people that liked this issue would want to go out and grab a copy of that. But like Silver Surfer says, it's a tale for another time. So Thor doesn't even know about it. You could go forward yeah, without yeah. knowing yeah. about it. Yeah, and it kind of goes over a little bit of the lore right mm-hmm. then about Galactus and how he was created and where that came from. The history of and the, the history. Pre, mm-hmm. pre-universe history, mm-hmm. which lines up with everything we know, but adds to the lore. Mm-hmm. That's an excellent way to add to it. You know, no contradictions, just embraces and enriches. Yeah. Yeah, and it's actually a pretty massive reveal. We know that Galactus saw the destruction of that old universe. It's never really even occurred to me what was the cause of that destruction. Mm-hmm. I just always thought it was like the collapsing of a universe. Yeah, yeah. Some of these great, it's a very Thor moment of like mm-hmm. just him being like, but we'll not go alone. And mm-hmm. having him just there and then having him get ready to almost go into battle. Mm-hmm. What were you thinking about like what Loki told him with the whole, oh, that's... The hammer's getting too heavy for mm-hmm. you. It's almost like he has something to prove even more now. Where he's like, yeah, almost something to prove to himself mm-hmm. and almost happy at the excuse mm-hmm. that he doesn't have to give the speech. Okay, yeah. well, let's go. We're going right, to cool. war again. We're not doing We've yet. got a mission. Immediately leaving Asgard. Mm-hmm. And then have them all back him and they show up and Surfer is telling Galactus, like, Thor's brought his mm-hmm. his whole troop and everybody's mm-hmm. here to fight him. And then we find out the real reason, you know. Yeah, what an interesting thing. He doesn't have an arm or anything. <laughs> Even more so to see yeah. that. Yeah. No teeth, just... Galactus, he's, he's not, days. yeah, he's not happy right now. He's not looking so good. To see Thor being chosen as the new Herald, mm-hmm. 
You know, there's a lot of intriguing history there, combining something like the Thor mythos with the mythos of the Silver Surfer. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's, it fits yeah. in a way that, why wasn't that done a long time ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it just, those things, they, they do fit very, very well. And now is Asgard going to be completely unprotected? Where I'm like, where's Loki coming to all this? Yeah. So I enjoyed this quite a bit. Do you have any thoughts about the Donny Cates little speech at the end? The Donny Cates. It was fun seeing, I mean, reading that part at the end. Mm -hmm. You could tell that he's been a fan of Thor. Yeah, it's endearing. It's endearing. And it's something which is always good to see when you have people who have kind of grown up and love that Mm -hmm. character, you know, and are able to finally write for who they want to write for, you know, it, yeah. it comes with more of a passion rather than it's a project. It's a passion, you know, it's, yeah. Do you remember, I don't know what, I think it might've been our introduction to comic club with that dark side episode, dark side Galactus. When I was talking about how, when I was drawing comics, I started to get too close to them and they were losing. I think uh, I even yeah. said the word magic. Yeah. They started to lose that magic, which is why I stopped. Mm-hmm. I needed that escape. I needed that magic. And it started, to, I was getting too close to it. And it's a very real thing. And you know, from loving film and then mm-hmm. being an actor, you see pieces yeah. of the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. And um, there is, even though an impenetrability for me personally to the Thor mythos, it just actually... It is endearing to hear Donny Cates write about it and yeah. like root for him. Like, cool. It's a, it's a nice thing to see a little note like that. Very personal, very intimate. Mm-hmm. I would give this issue an A. A very surprising read. I appreciate the commenter. What's yeah, oh, the commenter? Yeah. What's his name? We got issues. <laughs> we got issues. I appreciate we got issues kind of saying that he was looking forward to that because I would never have read this issue, but I thought it was excellent. We talked about it possibly, maybe, and then, but it was just one of those, yeah. Especially with me not really caring too much for Thor in general. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad we did. I did. I gave it an A as well. Hmm. So Really impressive setting the stage. You feel the history there, but you don't feel left out mm-hmm. of anything. You feel like you have it. You know, the little prologue of Silver Surfer Black, maybe. But outside of that, I mean, like Thor back issues, mm-hmm. you don't feel like, like there's 727 of them. That's like it crazy. says at the cover, <laughs> you don't feel, it feels like an issue one. Mm-hmm. I was impressed. Very yeah. impressed indeed. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Come and call any poll, A, B, C, D, R, F, and conversate. Conversate. Thanks for joining us, guys. To be continued.